we shall now understand the different types of food menu. The first type of food menu is table d'hote menu. These are fixed price menus with very few choices within the courses. A la carte menus. A la carte menus are individually priced and there are lot of choices in each courses. The adaptations of the table d'hote menus are used for banquets, buffets, coffee houses and cyclic menus. We shall now discuss types of beverage menus. The various types of beverage menus are numbered but for simplicity they may be grouped as being of four kinds, wine menus, bar menus and special promotion beverage menus. We shall now discuss the wine menus or wine list. They are further subdivided as full wine menus or list. This kind of menu would be used in an upmarket hotel or restaurant where the customer's average spend would be high and where the time available to consume their meals would be likely to be in excess of one and a half hour. A full wine list may resemble a small book often being of 15 to 40 pages in length because of the size and cost it is often the practice to have the menu contained within a quality cover and to be of a loose leaf form so that the individual pages may be updated when required and replaced. Restricted wine menus or list. This kind of menu would be used in a middle type market operations where the demand for a full wine menu is very limited. It is also likely to be used when a highly skilled wine waiter is not required and where the waiting staff serve all food and beverages. The planning of a restricted wine menu is difficult and can be best be done by an analysis of previous wine sales. It is usual that this kind of menu would feature a few well-known branded wines with which the majority of customs, customers can identify. The next is bar menus and list. These are basically of two types, the large display of beverages and their prices which is often located at the back of or to the side of a bar and is often a legal requirement in many countries or small printed menu lists which are available on the bar and on the tables in the bar area. The large display of menus and prices would be in a general type of bar where the everyday type of drinks are served. The small printed menus list being found in lounge and cocktail bar. The next is room service beverage menus and list. It depends on the size and type of room service and on the standards of the hotel and the level of room service offered. Special promotion beverage menus. This may take the form from a free pre-function reception to promote a particular beverage to the promotion of after lunch and after dinner liqueurs by the use of attractive 10 cards or to the promotion of cocktails of the month. Fortunately, assistance with beverage promotional menus is willingly given by the suppliers by providing free advertising and promotional materials and by offering the particular beverage free or at a special purchase price. In the upcoming slides, we shall be discussing the various methods of printing menu. There are four methods of printing, handwritten, duplicated, printed and desk publishing. We shall be discussing each one in the further slides. Handwritten menus should be clear to read as a printed menu. Duplicated printing 
stencil duplicating is a load cost duplicating machine that works by forcing ink through a stencil onto paper. Spirit duplicating is a process whereby the text is typed or written with the aid of an alcohol soluble dicarbon which is transferred to the paper in number of copies. The standard of printing is not that good and is limited to small and popular outlets or for clip-on menus. Printed menus are available in two forms, letterpress and offset litho. Desk publishing. Use of an in-house microcomputer. The advantages include an increased internal control over printing and production, in-house quality publications, elimination of traditional typesetting by professional printers, reduction in time for printing production and in printing costs. We shall now understand the last content of principles of menu merchandising that is suggestive selling. The power of suggestion is effective in sales. The servers earn better sales, recognition and larger tips in suggestive selling. In upselling, upselling is the processing of selling rooms, food and beverage items with higher rates than originally planned by the guest. It brings in a healthy spirit of competition amongst the staff and ultimately this helps in increasing the revenue. Following are the assignments that can be undertaken by students in order to practice uh, menu merchandising like designing menu merchandising for food and beverage service outlets like fast food outlets, coffee shop, specialty restaurants, special functions and events. Following are the review questions which cover the contents discussed in the presentation. Justify that menu is described as a primary selling tool. What are the two main types of menu from which others are derived? Discuss three key factors in designing a menu layout. Thank you for patient hearing. Hope the contents discussed in this presentation has helped in understanding the principles of menu merchandising. Thank you once again.